So we've discussed the importance of getting the system size just right for your needs. Of course, there's other things we can do. We can put a timer on your hot water cylinder, a simple and cost effective means of using your solar power during the day to heat your water. We could have the hot water cylinder running from 8 in the morning till 5 at night for instance. So the opportunity for your water heating to be using your solar power is enhanced. Uh, also if you're home during the day, there's things you can do. We're making the free power for you, you need to use it. When you're making free solar power on a beautiful day, use the power. But don't turn everything on at once. Some of our clients have uh, got a habit of going, hey it's sunny, there's solar power, let's turn everything on and use it. But that's, that's not correct because your system will be generating a finite amount of power. So to use it wisely when you're generating, do a load of laundry for instance. When that's finished, do the dishes. When that's finished, have a cup of tea. When that's finished, do the vacuuming. And when that's finished, have another cup of tea. So use the power at the time you're generating it. Another thing, in winter months, many of our clients have heat pumps or underfloor heating. And there is a tendency for people to wait till the evening, it's getting chilly about four or five o'clock, they turn the heat pump on, they turn the underfloor power on. Now with solar power, we need to train you differently. Think about your energy. At 10 or 11 in the morning, when you're getting all that free power, have the timer set so your heat pump comes on. 50% of the power use of a heat pump is getting the home up to temperature. After that, it just ticks over, holding the temperature. So if you put the timer on so that from 10 to 12, the heat pump brings your home comfortably up to temperature, you've done it with your free power. Then when you get home, you're snug as a bug in a rug and it hasn't cost you a cent. That's a smart use of solar power. Using your solar power saves you full retail value, which is anywhere between 25 and 48 cents a kilowatt hour around New Zealand. And by using it, not paying for it, the return on that power is huge. If you're not using it and you export it to the power company, they'll pay you something for it between 7 and 10 cents. We've got some great information coming on future blogs. I'm going to be talking about off-grid systems, hybrid systems, some great battery powered systems so you can either cut the cable all together or at least store some of your solar power for use at night. That's coming but stay tuned, the next one I'm going to bring now for blog number three, Watt Power Company, where I'm introducing a fantastic new power company for you, Ecotricity, and they've just launched a super solar saver package that's gonna help you save a lot of money on your power and get the best benefit out of your solar. So stay tuned or come on back for blog number three. Thanks for tuning in.